Folks, moving trailers is a handy thing to do with a tractor, and you can do it with the front end of the tractor or the backside. Take your pick. We're gonna go over four different options that maybe you can see, maybe you can't see. We'll give you some close-ups, some strengths, some weaknesses, pricing, features, all that kind of stuff. I like versatility personally. Some things are just trailer movers and that's it. Some things have more bang for the buck. Okay, so what we're looking at over on this side here, this is gonna be from JU Fabworks. This is part of the bucket brackets that we've talked about before. They bolt onto the top of the buckets like John Deere's, Kubota's, and others. You can see the two inch receiver that's here as well as a couple of D rings and some chain hooks as well. JU has different combinations, all right? So you don't have to get that exact setup. Take a look at their website, a lot of stuff. Um, but that's what we're talking about there. Oh, say 5% with code GWT. Taking a look down here, you're gonna see a plate that's bolted on to the back of our 1025R. This guy here is from Muds Customs. Got a couple of slots in here to put your chains on. Has a little, little hole right here if you can add a ball to that too. Or of course you have the two inch receiver. Heavy Hitch, we work with them as well. They also make a similar setup uh, for both John Deere and for Kubota, I do believe, so check them out. Either way at those locations, Muds Customs or Heavy Hitch, you can save 5% on anything they have with code GWT. Next up, this is gonna be our own creation, the Versa Bracket. Well, let me take this out of here. This just goes in the receiver. But what you're looking at here has a lot of different functions to it, all right? You still have the two inch receiver, you've got chain hooks here, you have a weight bar, okay? So you can put counterweight, suitcase weights right on there. You have a, a little multi-platform here. We've got a what we call a chain saw holder if you wanna put it down there, or you can set a toolbox on top of here and strap that down or utilize it for something else. But a lot of versatility packed into this to give you the most bang for the buck. This is gonna be a trailer mover, all right? And so you've got the gooseneck ball up on top. You got your two inch down below with your, your slots to put on your, your, uh, your chains there, your safety chains. That's all this thing does, okay? Um, again, we're gonna kind of compare all these, but this is from Oregon Tool. You'll see these on our website as well. Now, when you see these mounted to a, a Spico or to a quick hitch, you know, like this red guy and the other red guy over there, you don't have to. You can mount them directly to your category one three point hitch or a category two if you have uh, sleeves that you can put on top of your pins because the balls on the end of the three-point arms are gonna be too big. So they're category one quick hitch compatible, but they're also a direct fit to your three-point hitch. All right, let's get pricing out of the way, and I am not going to put the exact prices in here. The reason for that is because these videos are out there forever, all right, and I don't wanna give a price point now and somebody goes to look for it later and it's a lot more expensive because that's what things do over time, but cheapest to most expensive. Your two cheapest options are gonna be either this JU uh, Fabworks bracket or the one from Muds Custom slash Heavy Hitch. Uh, basically the same price either way, not a whole lot of price difference. Again, totally different ways in how they're used, but lower end of the price spectrum. Middle of the road in general for a, a quality trailer mover, you're gonna see some Chinese stuff. That's not really my jam. I don't, I don't deal with the cheap Chinese stuff. So you can always get anything cheap from China off of Amazon or eBay, if that's your thing, that's just not mine. So uh, kind of middle of the road as far as pricing goes is gonna be the Oregon Tool Trailer Mover. Again, you can see it's, it's built stout, it's built well, okay? Has a nice powder coat finish on there too. Gonna be more expensive than the first two options there, but a little bit beefier. Obviously, the location is different as well. We'll get to that too. Right in the middle for pricing. Okay, so now, the most expensive option to move trailers is gonna be this Versa Bracket, all right? But again, that gets to the versatility in the name of Versa Bracket, all right? And with that, you're able to do a lot more. Again, we talked about holding the suitcase weights for counterweight when you're using your front end loader, a big safety issue that we talk about a lot. You've got the chain hooks on here, all right? If you wanna pull and drag something along, you've got this extra platform if you wanna strap down something to it like a toolbox or put the chainsaw in there. So you're getting more bang for your buck, you're paying more, but not like double the price. You're paying, I don't know, 20% more to get all that additional versatility. Let's talk about position of where these two inch receivers are all mounted and pay attention to, in a little bit, we're gonna talk about safety, all right? There's a, a safe way to use uh, these tools or these accessories, I guess, to make sure you don't tip your tractor over, all right? So stick around for that a little bit later and always read your manual too. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden, we're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze. And it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. All right, so this is the only one that's mounted up on the front of the tractor. 
I've seen some out there that are mounted to the front um, kind of frame down here on the tractor itself, but uh, I don't really know how I feel about those, to be honest with you. Most of you have loaders on there, so I think it's a real inconvenience. So having something mounted on your loader is nice to have. Some guys are going to want to have a drop hitch that comes out of this receiver, though, because you can't always get this high of the bucket down low enough to get underneath the trailer. So if you have a little drop hitch, pretty common if you have trucks, too, because oftentimes they sit up higher. You may find that comes in handy dropping down a couple inches there, but really nice to have. Well, I mean, in this, in this aspect of it, you can think about however much your loader can lift, and that's how much, you know, in general ballpark tongue weight that you can kind of lift off the ground too, which is more than enough to move most of our trailers. But I think the other big benefit of having your trailer mover up front is you're looking forward. You don't have to turn around and back up and try to line anything up. You're looking forward to go up and hook up underneath the ball, and then you do have to drive backwards, I suppose. Well, maybe you could drive forwards and push it along. I don't know. I would think you'd want to drive backwards and kind of drag it along wherever you want to go, but I guess you have that option to decide whatever you want to do. Either way, you're looking in front of you. Okay, so this guy down here, mounted on the back frame of the tractor, well, these three-point arms are kind of in a good spot to show this issue because imagine you had your your tongue right here, your trailer tongue right here, and you wanted to swing hard left or right, you'd have to be really aware of the fact that you need to raise your three-point arms up and out of the way, otherwise they may interfere. And potentially, depending on your setup, this connection point is going to be tucked further back in there, and these tires could really get in the way where you're trying to make those tighter turns, and that could also interfere with it too. So that's where the option for the three-point mount comes into play. So that's the nice thing about these three-point trailer movers is the fact that they're outside of that general interference point that's found on the three-point arms, found on certain tires if you're trying to turn and all that kind of thing. So it's pushed out a little bit further back, can be easier to see to try to hook up from the operator station as well. And I think in general, for most trailers that we're moving around, you may have some really big honkers, right? But for most trailers that are getting moved around, you're gonna have plenty of lift capacity to get it up, to drag it along where you need to go. And so that kind of brings me to the safety topic in general. You know, a, a good rule of thumb is to always go slow when you're doing this stuff, anything with a tractor for the most part. And that comes into play with trailers as well. You don't wanna have well, even if you're pulling a trailer down the road, you need to have your weight balanced properly. And that's the same thing that's going on when you're hooking up a trailer to your tractor to tow it around. You don't want to have way too much weight in the back of a trailer, you know, and then it's wanting to, to raise the tongue up and take weight off the rear tires or, I don't know, take weight off the front of the tractor or take weight off the three point, anything like that. You gotta, you gotta use this stuff with a lot of common sense. And on these three point mount trailer movers, all right, there's no, there's nothing holding it down, all right? So if that trailer starts to lift way up like this, look at me, I'm just lifting up on the three-point arms. There's nothing that's gonna lock it into position from going up further until you reach as high as it can go, all right? And hopefully that makes sense, but that just means that you wanna have enough tongue weight on there um, so that it's kinda keeping some down pressure on there too. Obviously not enough tongue weight to to exceed what your, your tractor, your machine can do. And some of this is common sense, right? But it's also good to hear from time to time because we've all, well, at least I have been guilty of forgetting things in the moment. So if I can hear it on a every so often basis, you know, it somewhere it bounces around up there and, and hopefully comes to the front when I need it. So hopefully that gives you a, a decent pros and cons of all the different trailer movers that are out there, or at least the different styles of them. There's certainly more trailer movers than just what I show here. Everything you see though, you can find one way or another on our website at goodworkstractors.com. We either sell it directly or it's part of our discount club where you can go then to their website, use code GWT and save 5% off of your order. And while we don't sell trailers, like big old tandem axle trailers, we do sell small tandem axle trailers and single axle trailers that you can tow behind. If you're looking to just drive something around your property, move mulch, move dirt, move firewood, whatever you gotta do, the Ultratech trailer lineup that we have to offer has been very, very popular. A lot of great features, we've done some videos on those, so check those out too. And if you wanna take advantage of the most versatile trailer mover out there, the Versa Bracket, you can get it as a standalone item or in a bundle with suitcase weights as well so you can make sure you're set up for success whether you're moving trailers or using it as ballast weight. So for these attachments and any other attachments you need for your tractor, go to goodworkstractors.com. They include free shipping, rewards, and financing too. If you enjoyed today's video, you want to see more, hit subscribe down below. It is completely free. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.